In this little clip, um, I want to talk about calculated columns. So that's something I've really used well in uh, companies to achieve different things. And uh, in this example, I'm going to look at my policies and procedures library. And in this library, I definitely want to use um, a revision date, which is important for me because I need to know when to run a workflow against this library, when when should I send a document for approval or when should it come in for a view that says next 10 documents up for review or something. But documents might have a different review cycle, which, uh, which is the thing that makes it challenging. So you can't always work on one year or six months or something. So what I've done in this library is I've actually added um, a column called, um, let me just scroll to the right, revision cycle. So if I edit the properties on this document, I just want to show you and um, so next revision cycle and I set in days so I could say 365 days or maybe it's three months maybe I'm just going to work on let's say 90 days so I'm saying that this document must be reviewed every 90 days it might be a procedure or work instruction or something so um, I'm going to just say 90 days I use the number column there by the way and what I want to add to this library is that I want to add something that then takes that 90 days and adds it for me to the last modified date and works out the next reviewal date for me. So I'm going to go to the library settings. On the settings wheel, remember that you've, if you're on SharePoint on-premise, the tip will work exactly the same. Your uh, settings will just sit in a different place. So in my library settings, I'm then going to add a column. And this column I'm going to call next um, revision date and it's going to be a calculated column. So once I select cal calculated column, you know that you've got a column called modified, which is your modified date. So I can say um, modified and then I can say plus revision days. How cool is that? It's going to ask me how do I want to return this value. So how do I want to return this calculator, the formula, the value as? And I want to return it as a date and time. So I want to date when this must be reviewed again. So um, let's just check date and time, date only. I don't want those funky things with the seconds in it. And I can then add 90 days to it. So once that's added, I'm going to go back to my library and I want to go test the theory, right? So I've already got the column in where I actually went and said how many days this is, which means that um, if I had to, let's quickly put this into quick edit. Ooh, I think I've got check in, check out in this library because that's going to cause drama. Let's just quickly check. Maybe not. So I just want to add a couple of these. This one I'm going to say 365 days. This one is, um, let's say this one's four months. So I'm going to just work on 120 days. This one is um, every two years, so I'm going to work on 7.30. So I've just entered some of, uh, of the details. So you'll see that some of my columns now has um, 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 cycles in for revision. And there you can see it's calculating it. So if I had to take my modified date, which would be today, um, and I then say add 90 days to that. That should take me approximately to um, September. And there we go. That's working like a rock star. If I say 365 days, it will go exactly one year from today. So what a quick and easy way um, that will help you with compliance as well, where you can just add the revision cycle and the calculated column will automatically work out when that next date is. Of course, I can now build a filtered view that says, um, show me um, this in uh, sorting order from, um, would it be newer to oldest? No, older to newest and only show me the next 10 items and it'll show me the next items up for review. So that definitely works well. And of course, if you can uh, use Flow, you can then run workflows on this and say when next revision date is, um, you know, within 10 days of today, do so and so and send for approval or send for revision or add a task on planner. I mean, how cool would that be? So definitely a cool thing for you to use is, uh, is calculated columns. I'm going to definitely over the next uh, day or two share a lot of little tips with you in, uh, in um, SharePoint around calculated columns. I hope that uh, you can make that work and you have some fun with it.